What's up guys, Godsley back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your Stream Deck as a soundboard where you can play sounds with your friends or with people you're playing games with. Um, and basically you route all these sound effects through your mic so that other people can hear them. Um, I know a lot of you, if you've been looking on YouTube and you've eventually gotten to this video, or if you've seen a lot of ones before this, it's probably just showed you how to play audio to where you only can hear it and no one else can. Um, which right over here, all these videos that I watched Literally, all they show you how to do is play sounds on the Stream Deck. Even though it's labeled soundboard, it's not a soundboard that your friends or anyone else can hear. Um, so I'm going to go through here and show you guys how to do it uh, with one program, and then I'm going to show you on the uh, Discord that it's actually playing the sounds through at the end, so that way I can prove it to you guys. Um, so the first thing you want to do, we're going to go out of the box. So once you get your Stream Deck, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and plug it in and go to Elgato and download the software you can just google elgato download and it'll give you the website and download your stream deck either for windows or mac whichever program that you like to use and then you're going to go over here and you're going to google soundpad or you can go to this uh you know link right here and you're going to download soundpad now you can't just do the free version of soundpad you have to buy it but you have to download this version first and then you'll come back to this website and press buy it's only four dollars and some change if you're in the u.s um, so it's, it's really inexpensive compared to like if you use voice mod um, which I can do a separate video about some other time. Um, but so you'll download it, you'll buy the uh, license to it, which will give you full access, and then they'll send you the email with that license code. And then you'll come into the software. Let me pull it up right here. You'll come into the software right here, and you'll uh, go to help, and there'll be a section down here where you can add your product code. Um, so you can do that. And then over here on the bottom cam, you can uh, start using your Stream Deck as a soundboard uh, where you can have some funny laughs with your friends and people you play. Uh, within game so once you've got all this stuff downloaded then you're going to open up your stream deck and from your stream deck you're going to go down to more actions and if you've never used it before basically more actions allows you to be able to download add-on programs to the elgato for you to be able to integrate uh, new functions to your stream deck so you're going to come down here to soundpad integration by bar raider and you're going to install i've already got it once you've installed, it's gonna be down here and that way you can actually use these functions here to play your, your sounds and everything. So before we do that though, you're going to want to open uh, SoundPad. So once you've got it open here, because you have to have SoundPad open and you have to have that license activated for the actual sounds to work here, or you're just gonna get a big red X that says uh, not available or, or not working. Um, so once you go in here, you're going to have categories, so you can right click and add a category. So I right clicked and I added test sounds just for this video. We're going to do a couple and I add them here. But basically, once you've collect or selected your category, you're going to press file and press add sound files. And I chose two of them here, uh, cha-ching and a fart. Um, just make it, excuse me, interesting. So once you've got those in there, you're good to go. Then you're going to want to go open your sound uh, settings up real quick before we start adding them in. And, you know, make sure that your output device is correct. Make sure that your input device is correct. I use voice mod, so my voice mod is there. Uh, but if you're just using a regular mic like the Yeti, um, you don't use voice mod, just put whatever your mic is. But you're going to go right here to advanced sound options. And in this list, you want to make sure that your sound pad is decreased a little bit. So that way your sound effects aren't super loud. And you're going to want to make sure that your microphone or your input is whatever your mic is. So like if it's your default and it's your Yeti or whatever it is that you use, that's fine. Me, I wanted to make sure that it always is routed through my voice mod. Um, so that's always gonna be connected. All right, so once you've done all that, you're good to go. Now you can basically start adding stuff. So you're gonna take the play sound and drag it over. And it's gonna give you this right here. Like I said, if you don't have the software open, it's just gonna be a big red X and say sound pad's not currently working or whatever. Once you've got that on there, then you can come down here and you can add a title. So like for the first one, I'll just add fart. You can change it, style it however you want to with the software. Um, then you can also like, I'll go in here and I'll just make it a black background. Um, so that way it's easier to read. Then down here, you want to gonna want to click refresh. When you click refresh, it refreshes this integrated software to see the sound effects that you now have. Um, so for the fart, we're going to look for dry fart. Let's see. There it is. So, dry fart. I'm going to add one more. I think it was cha ching. And so, I'm not going to customize this. We're just going to go down to the C. So, cha ching. Boom. There we go. So, once you've got those there, that's it. You're done. Uh, I'm going to bring this here real quick and I'm going to bring up uh, Discord. So, in Discord, you can see right here that I'm talking. It's green around my uh, logo. 
uh, when I quit talking, it's gone. So when I play the sound effect, you're going to see it light up. I'm just proving to you that it actually does work. Um, so that way you know your friends will be able to hear you. Here we go. So there you go. Um, you can add as many sound effects as you want to. I've got about 200 um, in my normal folders behind this uh, that I'll use when I'm playing with my friends or when I'm playing with whoever. Um, but you, I mean, it's going to come through your recording. It's going to come through your stream. It's going to come through with your friends. You can also integrate, um, like if you like background music during your streams or during your YouTube videos, you can just have buttons set up for full background music sets as far as songs. And so that way you can play it and it'll play the whole five minutes or whatever it is you want to play. Um, but for right now, this is just for sound effects. But there's a lot more that you can definitely do with it. So that's it. Um, it works. Um, that's all you gotta do is go in there and add all your sound effects now and you're good to go. I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. If it has, please leave a like. If there's anything you didn't understand, please leave a comment and I'll try to clarify anything that I didn't get correct for you guys. Or if you're having any issues, um, let me know, or especially on the Elgato side of Bar Raider. Um, you can get, he has a link there to his um, website where you can send in tips or ask questions. You can also go to SoundPad and they've got an FAQ that you can look at if you're having some issues. But definitely comment and ask me any questions. I'll see if I can help you as best I can. I'm not super knowledgeable on how all this stuff works. Um, I just managed to figure it out. <laughs> um, and then if you didn't like the video, make sure you leave a dislike. And if you did enjoy it enough to subscribe, thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next video.